Yo! We're in. It's Fox Hole Radio. It's your boy Speed Doggy Dog in the house. Yeah. We're back. We've been running around doing some things. Thank you for listening to Fox Hole. In the house, we got Tyron Turner. You want to put a little more energy in that, bro? Not really. Okay, cool. In the house. Standing on top of the comedy castaway for the next topic to tackle. It is the Mr. TDP, Mr. 123 Knox, baby, right here on this microphone. Oh, you got all that on that note? He must have just got to uh, listen to Curtis Blow or something. <laughs> it's all in the mental. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn, March 9th. Boy, That's you right. got, yes, sir. Also in the house, DJ always over there on the wheels of steel. Always. Sure. You good? Cool. We're waiting on the main man to get down. Till then, we're going to do our thing. The number to call in, too, if you got any questions. Uh, maybe you want to write down some stuff we're going to be talking about. We're going to write down the uh, Lakers just won. Did they? Yes, wow. we beat uh, really count that OKC uh, T-Turn on the Sunday. Oh, Jody Meeks man. finished up with 42 Jody points. Jody Meeks. You know. what? So everybody just trying to score all these points all of a sudden. Everybody's trying mm. to show they got it. They can, we'll you know, get to score. that in a second. We'll number to call. That. No, Lakers okay. won. Yeah, I know you don't want to talk about it. But we <laughs> number to call into is 855-369-9898. What's that number again, Speedy? 855-369-9898. All right. Drop! Yeah, do that. Ty, you just got back in town, man. Yeah, man. I just, you know, I just got back in. I don't know where I was at because. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn, Speedy. Well, as long as you weren't in Malaysia, that's all yeah, I so can I thought you was on what that flight. What happened in Malaysia? Who? Man. Say it again. <laughs> what, what, happened, what happened out there? It's a V in there somewhere. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Community. Community. It's a Q in there somewhere. Somebody <laughs> help me. He said, what happened in Malaysia? <laughs> I like when black folks try to squeeze past the word. I do it sometimes. You just did it. Squeak. I won't say it. Speedy, you look like an OG right now. You got the L.A. hat on. You look like an OG. Representing them Dodgers, man. Okay. Okay. Call in. Uh, we got a lot of things we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about Oscar time. Wow. Did you go out? Did I go out for the Oscars? Yeah. No, man. I, I just kind of chilled. I watched it a little bit. Though. Cool, cool, cool. Some people got it, and my boy didn't get one. Who didn't get one? Uh, Who's your Leonardo. Boy? Got, Ooh, oh I man! Got one. Lamborghini? Wow. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> Lee Bedarbo? <laughs> is that an actor? Who is Lee Bedarbo, Speedy? Yo, I'm I'm, I'm not the, aware of who is Lee Bedarbo. Yeah, yo, this. the Wolf of Wall Street off the hook. Yes, yes. it was. Wow, yeah. they were sniffing cocaine off booty. I mean, I'm I don't know why I'm that? highlighting that part. No, I've never done that. I just watched it. The booty or the cocaine? What do you mean? Like, I, I, everything I do is you made for a woman. Up, you know, you a everything I do is to a woman. That's right. Wow. That's right, T-Tone. Yeah. Sam Mitchell, me. Right. Look here. Hilarious. Uh, who is Sam Mitchell? I'm sorry. Oops. What's his name? Michael Mitchell? Michael wow. Sams? Michael yeah. Sams? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Linebacker, right? We'll be talking about know. him later on. How do you go to Combine and not do well? He didn't do well? Should have bought his boyfriend with him. Oh, wow. What, you, oh, so, what, whoa, 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 Speedy. That's, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Motivation. Hold up, Speedy. Are you saying that he should have brought his date? Yeah. Wow. Wow. In That's the house. In the drive. Crazy. Smallest T-shirt known to man. Wow, really? <laughs> Apparently, they must be on sale because I can't uh, find one that. That's big. a nice top. <laughs> <laughs> Does it zip up in the back? What that's the, a nice top. How do you get your T-shirts that tight, bro? Speedy, some people want to get in shape. Yeah. I'm in shape. You know what I mean? I, I went to the doctor. He said, uh, Mr. Caldwell, you're doing fine. You in shape of I, an octagon. <laughs> I just, I just want to do other roles. Oh, mm. as opposed to the dinner rolls. Oh, uh, fat guy walks in the wow. back there. Right. How you doing, Fox? I suppose a heavy set man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when every time you get those kind of sides. Right, you know, right, right. Heavy uh, set man too. Uh, heavy set man too. <laughs> fat back mountain. Fat back mountain. You know what I'm saying? Blubber boy goes to when Hollywood. You doing Fat Albert? I mean, those are the types of things that you I'm get. I'm actually Speedy. sexy. I'm losing weight. I lost thirty. Speedy, you're sexy in certain countries. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like in a cannibalistic country, they mm. would look at you like, mmm, tasty treat. Yeah. Mm. The Where food here is edible. Huh? Where you been? Man, Speed, I've been around the world. In the yeah, day, you want to answer my text and nothing, bro. Uh, sometimes, man, you got to cut loose the sandbags. <laughs> there you go. There you go, You Fox. know, you got you to save yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I had to stop. I'm looking Speed. at the text going, he ain't hit me back for, Speed. I got about 35 Sometimes, you, you know, say, and then it, that's a little same-sex marriage. You know, yeah. after yeah. after mm -hmm. a couple of texts, you understand, as a, you know, uh, real niggas to be like, okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> he ain't in love with you, yeah. Speedy. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You, you missed a, my person. Yeah, you sent him a text with your shirt off. You really didn't have a response. Anytime you send me a selfie, and I'm like, yeah. oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get I mean, the point. Yeah. <laughs> so how you been, man? You good? I've been really good. I want to give a shout-out to uh, to Niagara Falls. Wow. Niagara Falls came out and nice. really, like, represented, and it was a, it was a different crowd. Mm -hmm. It was uh, predominantly Caucasian, which mm. was very good. I, I, we're going mainstream. Mm. Uh, but they had a ball, man. And Niagara Falls is one of the eighth. Is it seven wonders of the world or eight wonders of the world? It's seven wonders. Seven. Right? It's seven. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. 
Uh, so shout out to Niagara Falls They came out you do that? And uh, represented I don't even know What I did Speedy <laughs> You know people were asking me What type of show Are you doing I said I didn't even really know I had a show okay. But I saw it on my calendar And they said You okay. know I'm in you Niagara need to be Falls there. And there was a band <laughs> uh, and, But we told they, We knew what to do Once we got there We told they ass up Shout out to Tank mm-hmm. Who uh, Had a little trouble At the border But he mm-hmm. made it mm-hmm. Oh okay wow. He had a little, a little trouble, trouble At the border what, But he made what it What happened uh, something about, Niagara? uh, yeah, you know, you need a passport, Speedy. You can see, yeah, yeah well, as you can see, not the car, but the as you can paperwork, <laughs> yeah, as you can see. Wow. So, Tank got the tank got in and absolutely cool. destroyed. Cool. Uh, then we went from Niagara Falls, we went to uh, uh, went to Atlantic City. Shout out to Atlantic City, wow. Uh, Revel was 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 banging, and Rebel? Then, you know, Revel, yeah, Revel was the name of the hotel. And, uh, you know, the crowd was, was amped, ready. They were surprised again with Tank, American crowd, so okay. it was hotter. And then last night, mm. got to give a shout-out to Foxwoods. What is that? Uh, Connecticut. Uh, oh, okay. At, wow. the, at the MGM Casino. Packed house. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout-out to all those ladies out there that just really enjoyed themselves. Uh, another stunning performance uh, by all of us. Uh, and when I mean all of us, we actually take the the show into the crowd. Okay. At one point, we go into the crowd, mm-hmm. and we do a couple of songs actually inside the crowd. So the whole crowd was performing, and once again, Tank, you know, delivered a fantastic performance. Uh, we gave away three thousand uh, dollars yesterday, uh, which I didn't have. I didn't think. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, the patch of pockets. I said, I said, I said uh, yeah, I was saying who's gonna, uh, you know, who's gonna be the best dancer tonight, and we, we thought we got by because uh-huh. the first round nobody got. It. I was like. Phew. Good. Three grand I could use for uh, <laughs> these lightweight strippers I know. Right. Uh, uh, and next thing you know, a girl just came on stage uh-huh. and that. just wore that shit out. Oh. And we ended up giving her the three thousand dollars. So it was a fantastic night. And uh, here I am, dry, flew all morning because mm-hmm. uh, I didn't want to miss Foxo. Oh, <laughs> we know you didn't want to be I here. I appreciate that, too. Under man. contract. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fox O' Radio. What's cracking? Other than the crack, crack of your ass. It's going down. It's a balmy 82. Man, shout Is out to the East report? Coast. Nice. My mm-hmm. goodness. Nice here. I, 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 I hate it for you. I hear that the East Coast is climbing out. It was 50 degrees. In Niagara Falls, it was very interesting. Uh, you know, for some reason, Caucasian males, they just don't really feel the cold like uh, African-American males yeah. do. Yeah. So as I'm walking in Niagara Falls, and it's literally 18 degrees mm-hmm. below zero, right. I see, you know, the white guy with the short set on, just walking and through. The, uh, split toes, <laughs> with the split toes on. the bounty dude. Yeah, just whistling. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looked at me, and I'm not lying on this speed. He said, hey, you know, I hear tomorrow is going to be up to three. Wow. <laughs> Get my suntan lotion. You know, I don't want to burn. I was like, it was absolutely uh, amazing on how how uh, used to the cold uh, they are. But, man, we, we had a great time there. So Niagara Falls, were you outside? Uh, Dan, uh, no one outside But okay. when I went to the Vols Oh yeah, see the Vols You ever have your clothes freeze? Oh Yeah, my clothes had frozen Wow, you had so jeans on? I had jeans on But when I got inside I was like, wait a minute <laughs> Something's going on And uh-huh. my clothes had frozen How close were you to the water? Uh, Did they end up getting I, wet? Uh, no, I didn't get wet But I was right close to the You know, right close to the right. drum Right there on the bridge That's your first time, right? No, Speedy I've been in Niagara Falls Several yeah, times yeah. I'm a celebrity I can't yeah. tell I get out I can't oh. tell Speedy ain't been past Inglewood It's not your you fault know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get out, Speedy No, but I have I, I went a long time ago And you get on the boat and you, right. you know, Several people have died mm. uh, Trying to either barrel go off rolls. Of a barrel yeah. or People have tried to I hang glide One dude tried to parachute Off the motherfucker mm-hmm. Wow You know what I'm saying? No African Americans have <laughs> <laughs> just had to throw that little fat toy in. I mean, no, no, not even a thought. Uh, even you know what, Charles? I'm <laughs> going to jump, nigga. No. <laughs> you know, you make a hell of a thing of Kool Aid with all that water. <laughs> we, we, had, we, had, we had an interesting now, hey, week, Fox, right? What, what's up? Fresh you? back from uh, the Oscars. Can you fantastic, explain? Fantastic. Can you explain the pizza? What? Because they have pictures of you and what? your daughter what? eating pizza on the front row. Well, what the happened Oscars. was is that Ellen was smart. Speak on. Knows, it's, a knows, it's a four hour show, four gotcha. and a half hour show. Ellen, I thought was fantastic. Yes. Right and at God. a certain point, you are starving. So me and my daughter, we had like little snacks in our purse, <laughs> but you know I picked the wrong shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You know I had some Earth Nutra, whatever the shit I'm trying to be. <laughs> you have you a know, fruit roll up, some shit like that. Oh, okay. you, like, you didn't yeah, join what? Herbalife, did you? Not enjoying okay, Herbalife. Cool, I didn't cool, do that, cool, but cool. I, hilarious. But what happened? 
It's a cult. Oh, hilarious. So I, I had some stuff in my bag, but it wasn't working out. So Ellen was smart, man. Brought the pizza out. Everybody had a chance to eat uh, some pizza. Now, here's what's funny. Oh, they Every, said you had called that. No, but here's what's funny. A lot of people were fronting uh-huh. like they wasn't, you know, mm. I don't eat pizza. Nigga, when I say that, <laughs> Bradley Cooper was not fucking around with that pizza. <laughs> and what was crazy was Bradley, I said, Brad, let me get a piece of that. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. But when he gave me the piece, uh-huh. the whole shit left and went the other way. That motherfucker was like, God damn it. <laughs> so Never people was back. really trying to get their pizza. Now, the picture that they took uh, that, that got the most tweets. Wow, that was, mm-hmm. that yeah. was a fantastic. But what, 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 I don't know if people are aware, the picture that Corinne Fox took mm-hmm. uh, was the second most tweeted wow, uh, wow. yeah uh, so it was like 30,000 and, and I don't know nothing about all that you know I, you know, I, I let my people do the tweeting or whatever right, right. but she said it usually doesn't get up to like 30,000 or whatever it was out to, the, the pizza place since then They've had to because it's, it's it's bananas. Yeah. I knew they got lines. They got wow. Speedy's pizza. Yeah. Speedy's pizza. <laughs> they got lines around the corner because of that. Oh yeah. And it's, it's, it's off the chain. That's right how now. it goes. So I, Jay, I want to ask a question. Sure. I, as I was watching the Oscars, right? Uh-huh. I seen I seen you perform with For Real, and I yeah. seen Corinne for real? perform. Yeah. For real. For real. Okay, for and real. I seen Corinne, and I was trying to figure out the name of the song was Happy, but I was yeah. trying to figure out how did that all come about. Well, what happened was is that For Real asked us to come on stage with him because he was being shout out to For Real, man. Oh, yeah. Fantastic yeah. Yeah. producer. Hats. Yeah, the hats, hats. everything yeah. works. Um, but we had went to his uh, to his celebration of his party Sweet. a couple of nights before a private party. Mm-hmm. Uh, speed. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, I, uh, I text you. Uh, I text you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so this time we we go to the Oscar. He wants us to come on and show some camaraderie, and I thought it was great, man. Right. Like a flashback to the old school Hollywood, how people would work together and do things like that. So we went out there and we had a great time. I'm glad my daughter went, man. Cool. You know, she was sort of flipping the coin the and she wasn't going to go. She had a great time, and I think. She looked beautiful So shout out to Corinne uh, Marie Fox But for real man Just a fantastic To be in front of that crowd And get the crowd going mm-hmm. And uh, people really embrace it So shout out to for real It was a fantastic night I mean everybody looked great uh, uh, Mark Hop did, did He did look, He looked great too Who's that? The, uh, the guy that was Wasn't he nominated From um the, the pirate movie, uh, Speedy. Talk to help me. Help me out. Who's it's no, your story <laughs> Oh Captain um, Oh my man The, uh, the Somalian yeah, and I, you know what? I, I had to get. The, the what threw, didn't I work? Threw, and it threw me a little bit. What did he mix with, Jay? I just want for the uh, uh, Somalian and um, starvation. Oh no! The, oh, I don't know. TDP, you can't. You you can't do. You can't. <laughs> you that was a mix. Somalian and starvation. No, because no, because somebody was telling me that he had a, that his, his root canal was mixed with peanut griddle or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, no. Only on the foxhole is foxhole radio. Uh, I didn't know. I, I must. <laughs> I must admit, just my honest reaction mm-hmm. is that I was a little thrown because, you know, usually when you watch a movie, we get in the character, there's a makeup situation involved, okay. we disappear into character. You come back. Uh, he didn't quite disappear. Yeah, he, no, he was, a, he was, he was in character was, already, right? Yeah. He was still it, so, so you know... Um, it was a good. It was a little good news. The good look you said. I thought, no, it was, you are it was, an Alaska really, alumni, so yeah. you know the ins and outs of high school. It was. It was. Look, Bless us with something. Let me tell you. Okay, I, thank I, you. I, I, I am so happy for that young man to, to 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 be. He didn't nominated. win. Did he? No, he, he, he didn't win. But oh, the nomination is. But uh, he he was such a, a a fantastic light. But you know, like look, niggas, you know how we be. Yeah. You know how we look. Like <laughs> you know, black folks was hitting me. I like, couldn't sink my teeth in why he didn't uh, win. <laughs> the truth about it is. <laughs> Fox Show Radio, we're talking about the Oscars right now. It was, it was a little getting used to, but you know what? God bless him. You know, he's you know he's coming now, from his native. I mean, I hear in his native and where he's from. Oh, he's, he's the man. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Well, that's what they actually like. Right. Hilarious. Oh, you that's sexy out there. That's, yeah. that's the well, shit. Were you surprised your boy didn't win? Uh, no, no. Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, listen, I, I'm I a huge fan of his. I, I, I believe... That uh, they got it right. Okay. I believe Ooh. they got it right. I believe yep. that when you look at the performance right. of, Matthew. Uh, of Matthew McConaughey, it was that performance. It got it right for, for you know, the what they were looking for. Value? Artistic Now, yeah. the reason that I okay. felt like Leo should have gotten uh, uh, a, nod. You know, a, a nod is because I, I, I believe that he hasn't gotten his just, just due from yeah. all of his other... He's uh, a Susan Lucci of... Yeah, in a sense. You yeah. know, it's, be- mm-hmm. it's beginning to be... You know, uh, um, sort of that pattern. Like okay. you look at uh, Martin Scorsese. Not until the very twilight of his career, career right. is when he was given. But I think that uh, they got it right. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the the performance Jared Leto and uh, 
uh, and Matthew McConaughey turned in was fantastic. Right. But I, I also believe, I also believe that Leonardo DiCaprio is the best actor that we got out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what you look at uh, what he did in uh, in Wolf of Wall Street, Woo! he touched every base. Wow, yeah. you know, and that's great for our for our yeah. art. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, you know, he got swag. He got the girls, you know. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it looks too flashy, maybe, yeah. you know, okay. for the for the academy. I don't, I don't know. I can't really speak for it, but they got it right. But, but, but once again, uh, huge, huge, huge Leonardo DiCaprio fan. Uh, keep doing your thing for sure. For sure, Leonardo. Y'all need to do something. Love that. Right? Love, we, that. We love that. That would be dope. We love to, and it was, you know, and 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 now, you know, you you look at Lapita, you mm. look at what Lapita did, man, fantastic yes. job, man, you know, and and so, uh, so beautiful in her speech. Her speech right. was absolutely amazing. She uh, she she got a lot of fans. Right. Uh, she was, she's night. good in uh, nonstop. Uh, in, she, she she plays a wait uh, airline. Stars. Yeah, well, I I hope that that young lady uh, works even more. You know, there is the supporting actress category curse. Okay, that exactly. you. Usually when a person in, uh, wins the uh, supporting actor category, they fade. Uh, mm. Monique, uh, to name a, to you name. You want to put name. Monique? In it? I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of people who want supporting, and, and you know, uh, Cuba Gooding. A, a lot right. of people that have you know won those those awards, and they you know, it's, it it's tough, you know. But uh, hopefully, she'll get a chance to keep on working. Jay, okay. by, by you winning an Oscar and um and seeing how. The woman, you know, uh, yeah. how she won the Oscar. What I mean, won the Oscar, whatever. Do you feel that by her being a slave, like, how, what's your take on that? Do you feel like? I mean, I just want to know your I, take I, I on. Th- I think this is that anytime you talk about slavery for black people, it's right. always uncomfortable. You're right. always going to be uncomfortable. You're right. never going to look at a slave right. movie and go, "That was hot." I like that. Mm-hmm. You're never going to say right. that. <laughs> uh, but what you have to do is you have to look past that when you're talking about the artistic version of it and say, "Wow, what a fantastic performance!" Unfortunately, slavery still hurts. Yeah. Like, you know, when you look at twelve. Of your slave and people were asking, Hard you know, that. you know, why wasn't necessarily the biggest moving box office or different from Django? What Django was able to do was, Django was able to allow you to emotionally pay for it. Like as black folks, we got an emotional, we have an emotional tab. Yeah. We can right. pay for, uh, we could pay for the word nigga in Django because of the way the word nigga was landing in Django. Right. We right. had enough emotional finance. Now in Django, however, uh, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, decided, which I think was smart, not to put the rape scenes in. Right. Uh-huh. So by not putting the rape scenes in and some of the other things that really we know have gone on, right. I just he just felt like he felt like we didn't have enough emotional finance to pay for that. Right. And right. so so he gave us an opportunity to look back at those times, but look back at it uh, in a heroic sense because there were there were guys like Django that that existed. Right. Twelve Year Slave, however it gives you a real depiction of how rough slavery was. Chris Rock did a movie, did a, a, a concert in uh, uh, in New York and said if a person watches a movie like a slave movie and the person that were the, the, the people that were the slave owners aren't uncomfortable, then it didn't, it wasn't do, hit, it didn't yeah. do its job. Right, right. So 12 Year Slave makes you feel uncomfortable. When right. you see Fast Bender's performance, it's a fantastic performance, but it's still it, it, any person with any type of heart would go like, how can a man be that ruthless? Right. But in the same time, that's the way it was. Mm-hmm. I mean, at that time, uh, you, you know, there was, we were not uh, considered human. You know, and so when you look at P- Lapita's performance, her performance still rings out with what we're dealing with now today when it comes to dark skinned people Correct. in our country. Only we don't like to talk about it. Right. When I got a chance to go down to the Peace March uh, in, in Miami, when I went down there, the reason that I put, took a, a plethora of people with uh, a different colors right. and different shades to show camaraderie, but there were a lot of people that were dark skinned people who were saying, my kids are being killed because their music was too loud or because some guy felt he was threatened. He pulls right. out a gun and he kills him. And so those dark pe- skinned people don't have a voice. Right. It's the same way with what Lapita was saying. I picked 500 pounds of cotton. I doubled what everybody else on this uh, uh, plantation did. And I don't know if you guys seen the movie, but you should yeah, see it. After she did that, after I picked the 500, you still beat me, you whipped me, you, you won't even let me get clean. So that was a prolific point, not only just for the movie, but for us as a society. But who wants to look at that? Right. You know, it's, it's tough. And I sat and I talked to those guys uh, and said, you know what, if you really want that, and, and God bless him, because I talked to uh, to uh, Brad Pitt and I said, listen, if you really want to get that message out, 
Now, you really want to let people know what's uh, 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 what what this movie is about. Don't stop uh, with the movie. And now they're going to put it in the school systems, and people are going to get a chance to see it. But like wow. I said, it's tough. If you are, uh, I was talking to Morris Chestnut. And I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this. I was talking to his wife. She says, it's just hard for me to watch those images. We work so hard to get to where we are right now. And so when you watch those images, images, you know, it just, it, it puts you in a different place. People after watching 12 Years Slave, uh, both black and white and, and, and other, were in, uh, were in uh, restaurants talking about the movie for hours and hours. Right. So I applaud uh, uh, 12 Years Slave. I applaud them for, 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 for what they did. I applaud uh, Lupita for being uh, such a strong uh, person and hopefully her, you know, her career keeps buddy. Yeah, hey, you got a phone call. We got Ricky from Mississippi in the house on the Fox. So what's up, M I cricket letter, I cricket letter, I hump back, I just, hump you back. Know, I know you. <laughs> I know you're busy. My, are you not talking my daughter how to spell that? She five years old. <laughs> I know you're busy, man. But I just heard you giving Leonardo a shout out, but I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit because I think you're the all around best performer, whether it's singing. Comedian, acting, all the above, whatever you put your mind. Thank to. you, man. So, hey, man, I put that. I put that. I put that in your credit account later on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and download, drop that money off in there, baby. It's called Rick humble. Man, He's humble, man. It's called humble. Shout out. I know you're a busy man, you know, and everything, and, uh, but I just want to let you son, keep doing what you're doing. All right, baby. Thank Appreciate you, Mississippi, that, baby. In my cricket letter, cricket letter, I, cricket letter, cricket letter, I, humpback, humpback, I, Mississippi, down Number to call into is 855-369-9898. You want to talk to Fox or Speedy or Teeter? A Tyrant Turner. <laughs> Tyrant Turner. It's but, going down. So did you have mad fun? Did you meet somebody you listen, had, I had a, Listen, I met somebody that I didn't meet before. I met Jennifer Lawrence's mom. Wow. She's mm. off the chain. Shout mm. out to her right now. She's mm-hmm. completely off the chain. Mm. She says, you coming down to Louisville? Uh-uh. You coming down to the Kentucky Derby? Don't you fucking lie to me. Uh-uh. You better come down there. She Are you, you going to come down to the Kentucky Derby, Jamie? I was like, yeah, I'm coming. You don't you look me in my eyeball and lie to me. <laughs> now, Boy. you could tell where Jennifer Whoa. got her spunk from. She would not let me leave. Mm. She gets right up. I'm going to send you a picture. I'm going to post this picture of, of what happened okay. uh, later on. She gets right up to my face, like right on my uh, forehead. You know, my breath is, is, is humming and all kinds yeah, of things. You. you know what I'm saying? You just had and a doo-doo burger. Right, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she's right in my grill and, and, and woke me out for like, pause, woke me out for like uh, <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes about coming to the Kentucky Derby. So Foxhole Radio is going to the Kentucky Derby yeah, with Jennifer Lawrence's mom. Even I looked at the father and said, how do you deal with this? Hey, man, I'll just drink. Man, <laughs> that's uh, what I do, buddy. but uh, she was fantastic, she was absolutely uh, uh amazing. I'm gonna find that, uh, yeah, find it. Find this. You picture. got a phone call, we got uh, Tony in Georgia. Damn. Tony, you there? I'm here. Welcome to Fox. Oh, what's happening, Tony? Tony, yeah. holla. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, Mr. Fox, how you doing? What's up, baby? Mr. Chilling. I, I just got two things. First, you use plethora, I don't know what plethora means. Second, I mean, what? Black people are being so nauseous, but being kind, being nonviolent towards, like, they're killing our kids. I think we need to take it back to the old school where we just stop putting money into the economy and hold out for a couple of months and make them come to the table and deal with the situation. Well, I I, I tell you that I I appreciate the fact that you have some type of of plan that you put together. I think it goes beyond that too. Mm. I think what we need to do is when you're dealing with the stand your ground law in these in these in these states. Correct. We need to not only rally the black folk, that should be a given. Right. But we gotta rally everybody. What people don't understand is is that look, when 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 the Trayvon Martin thing happened, it left the door open for everybody. Correct. So if you notice in Tampa Bay, Florida, yes. a white kid in the movie theater who's texting while the uh, promos are, are on, an okay. uh, older white gentleman says, turn your phone off, what the, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's an empty theater. Right. It's an empty theater. They get into an argument. The 71-year-old white male he's goes, he's captain. retired captain, goes yeah. and gets his gun out of the car. Mm. He could have moved anywhere in the theater. Instead, he let the uh, argument escalate. The guy throws his popcorn at the old man. The old man pulls out his gun, shoots through his girlfriend's hand, and kills that kid. Right. So now what I say is whatever happens in the hood eventually happens mainstream. Right. Right. Here's, what I, here's what we need to speak to, though. When it comes to us... 
and I, and I'm not listen, man. I, I'm not the best. Right. Just I, I just want to be honest with you. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm not Martin Luther King. Right. I don't ever want to want to say that, but I do know that I sat with 20 families. Mm -hmm. I sat with 20 families that have lost their sons all around that same age, 17 years old. Right. Uh, the kid in Atlanta wrapped up in a blanket in school. Oh, his organs. Missing. And his organs was missing. Yeah. His uh -huh. toes was missing. They don't even want to investigate it. The young lady who said they killed my uh, my son because he had his music up, and and yeah. and so therefore. Uh, they killed him. And here's what we got to be careful. We got to be careful in how we get the message out. Because here's the thing. Very important. We know that the law is flawed. Yes. Right. By the law being flawed, it impacts the inner city or the urban child heavily. Yes. When we talk about race, we do have a problem with race. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now we have to split the conversation. We're going to have to have a conversation about race and get to the bottom of that. And then we have to have the conversation about stand your ground. Law. And we have to be careful in connecting the two because what I've noticed, me coming from the South, we got to be able to get Southern white folks on our side and make them understand that the problem is everybody's problem. Not right. just, you know not but, not, but still at the same time, not turning our back on the fact that, hey, I know when I walk, I used to do this joke called... Whew, when I would go into a uh, all white establishment and they didn't really see my face and I have a hoodie on, mm -hmm. or I was in Chicago at, at one of the hotels. I came in the elevator and people, oh my god, they, they all all the white people got to the corner of the of the, of the, of the elevator. Mm -hmm. Then after a few uh, few uh, 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 floors up, somebody had the the courage to look at my face and say, "Oh my god, is this Jamie Foxx?" Right. <laughs> 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 He's, he's and, and, nice and, and so, so, so there. So we do have that. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever want people to understand that that's being watered down. But in order for us to really get changed, we're gonna need white people. Yeah. We're gonna need Mexicans. We're gonna need Asians. We're gonna need Indians. That's time. Why the next time we go to the Peace Walk is gonna be an even bigger uh, uh, umbrella and a bigger quilt as we could steal from uh, Jesse Jackson and, and, and make it really a universal uh, uh, message and. Uh, in the press, stop doing this in the press. To all of y'all in the press, stop saying we have so-and-so from the left and so-and-so from the right, right in order to talk about the situation. Because every time you do that, if you own the left, you're only going to hear what the left says. Right. If you own the right, you're only going to hear what the right says. So we need to have conversations with no politics involved. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle and just talk about our kids. This Fox on Radio. Who? We coming back, man. We got we got deep. We coming back. We, gonna come, we, we yeah. coming back. Line, we coming back. We coming back. Yo, we are back. It's Fox o Radio. Fox o Radio, baby, it's going Sunday, down. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday. You got a chance to see the combines. Uh oh. What you think, Fox? I saw the combines. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I saw the combines. Oh my god. Oh. And with the seventh pick in the draft, the Baltimore blowjob select. <laughs> 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 I, you know, he did I, don't know. I heard he did better. Who? Who did? Uh, Michael Sam. Michael, Michael oh. uh, you know, and, and I'm not. Listen, guys, don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> I'm not doing gay jokes. Right, right, don't right. Do but, but, no, no pun intended. Drop. <laughs> uh, Michael Sam. What happened? Mm. Well, he laced them up, and he had, yeah, it was a, it was a tough. And you know what? He had a little body suit. And, and here's the thing. This how it affected me. Okay. Because, you know, he made the announcement. Mm -hmm. So it just, I started looking at particular things. Okay. okay. When he was running. I said, wow, that looks interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, you know, it was just, you know, hands like, a little. Well, I, I said know. ESPN. Every time they showed him making a and tackle, like, yeah. it was from behind. I'm see, like, that, see, ESPN was oh, on that board. Yeah, yeah okay. Every going tackle on. he made. Or, or maybe it was me. Yeah, he and here's made. the thing. And, and here's the thing. Uh, I, I applaud all of my, uh, my, my, uh, what? Your gay friends? Uh, my gay friends okay. for now being the able to The alternative lifestyle. Alternative life. You know, I, I got to be careful. I don't... Right, you know, defend nobody. All of my... You dudes know. are like dudes. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, uh, you know, it's going to take a little... It takes a little time to get used to it. Right, right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. No, when well, your boy had the it's number one selling jersey... Little, when he did? went to the Knicks. I mean, to the, to the Nets. Nets. Jason Collins? Had the number one selling jersey. Wow. Yeah, but it was just dudes with just jerseys on, nothing else. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, you know, no. just, that's all they had was just the jersey on the I'm pump. Looking for I saw a dude. July. I saw a dude with a net jersey on and a size seventy six and a half pump. Wow! <laughs> you know, and just the jersey on. Dude, love. go, Jason. Uh, was it a red bottom? Uh, I believe so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> phone call. Speaking in of female, some, in some areas, you got a phone call. We got Tamara what? from Cali in the house. Tamara, talk about it. Tell us what you feel about. Um, Does she like football? 
football and the fact that uh, what do you, what do you, well, Michael Sam's the first gay NFL player. I mean, courageous. Speak up. I think it is courageous. I think it is courageous, and we should stop judging people, you know, because you have to look to your True. side, and you never know. You know, and you never know when you, you might see. have a little, when you might have a little future makeup artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never Stir. know, you know? You know what I'm saying? You hey, might have a little designer. Or whatever at the end, so you do what you do. And, I mean, you know. and I thought I thought Magic Johnson was courageous, too, like, you know, to be able to embrace his, his well, son. He's been knowing that. Uh, he didn't just What's his out. son's name? Oh, his son's name is, is Irvin Magic Johnson Jr. So, right. uh, yeah, I saw him on TMZ. I, I saw his son. Yeah. You know, but so, you know, if you love your child, then you know you're going to accept whatever lifestyle they have as long as they're not harming anyone. You know, and that's, then, that's true. Well, but but Jamie, I like to applaud you too. There was a caller that called in before I got in, and I've been watching you for a long time. I've never called into a radio show ever oh, in my you. whole entire thank life. You, babe. Thank you. And Thank I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you as an artist, you know, all I around. I appreciate it. Thank you, so, thank you so much. And thank you for your kind Hello, words. Son. Thank you for your kind words. You thank know, you so yeah. much, Tamara. Yeah, thank I you so much, Tamara, baby. Love you, love. You. Well, you know that's that's interesting. I know uh, and with that with the same uh, uh, with the uh, same with same the uh, coming out and you know being. I don't think he had gay. to say that. But- I think he should. But, just but that's the because combine. we're straight, Speedy. Speedy. For the most part, maybe, on your part. Maybe, maybe he just like tackling men, and maybe that's why he did bad in the compound. Combine. Hmm? Kappa? Combine. What? Maybe he's just. Comma Camellia. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? I, I think I think what it is is like we're not gonna get it because we're not. You right. know, we're not we're not gay, so there's no way we could uh, understand it. All we could do is support it. Well, here's you the know question. What I'm saying? As a matter of fact, grab me some uh, grab grab me some uh, Sylvester right now. Uh, dance with me in the disco. <laughs> Come, Come on and dance. dance. Dance with me. <laughs> Grab me something right now and just give a now, shout out to well, we looking for Michael that. Sands. We got Scony. I think I got that right. There you go. Chicago. Wait, let it just, just, this is for all my players that, wanna, that are coming out. Switch it. Now, you should play this just before you go out to the field. This is what's playing in the locker room right now. <laughs> this is what's playing in the locker room. Man. Hey, you know, this hey, is not a joke. Embrace this it. Just, we have to embrace this. Yeah. This is what's going to be playing. Now you're going to hear the coach in the back. Now, guys, <laughs> I need you to go out there, and I want you to knock far from him. What? I just, I got to see that coach. But you're right, lay right, him down. Right. What in the shit is this music? Go out there and kick some ass. Go I mean, out there. <laughs> so, so as this is playing, this is what's going on. Has it going out? Play it, turn it on up. Now, what does he say to Gutierrez? What does coach say to Gutierrez? Gutierrez, your lips look full today, son. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Shout out to all my players that are coming Here's out. Here's a question, bud. If he runs up behind you and slap you on your ass, hey, are you uh, I, ain't, I ain't with all that, man. <laughs> man hold, hold, uh, I ain't even in the game. So you said he, he can't hit you and say good game? You just want- uh, he can say me good game, but high five me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? High five Let's me. Chest bump. Because, you know, a, a, a gay guy was, was what was said on ESPN, a gay guy created the high five. Wow. No, yeah. Magic did. Yeah, ba- no, 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 no. Uh, well, baseball oh. player. Ooh, baseball wow. player. Baseball player. That uh, the Dodgers, as a matter of fact, didn't want him on the team because they thought he was. Uh, they found out he was gay. And they were trying to ship him out. He created the high five, and it was Dusty Baker. Mm. Wow, uh, Dusty, Dusty Baker, Baker uh, goes out because Dusty Baker said I knew he was gay mm-hmm. or whatever like that. He hits a home run, and Dusty Baker was the first guy to go out there and 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 uh, didn't uh, want to embrace him. What, no, he didn't know what to do. He right. said I don't know what I'm going to do. So uh, he went out there and he just had his hand up like this. <laughs> And oh, because he was the next batter yeah, up. Dusty, the for the home no, run. Dusty, yeah, so Dusty just held his hand up like that, and he hit him at the top, and so a gay man created a high five. So they're very talented. Very talented. So turn it up again. <laughs> turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Go crazy today. Fuck your radio, baby. Hey, and for all of you guys that are on on the uh, on the verge of popping the lock on the door, open okay. it up so I know where I stand, so I know that that's that's who it is. Right. You know, that's that's what I'm talking about. Come on out, so I know exactly who it all is. <laughs> And we just embrace. 855-369-9898. And possible. y'all and y'all got about uh, 90 days until these jokes start happening. Y'all had a okay. great run. Great run. All of my gay friends, you, right. we hadn't had a chance to tell no jokes about y'all. Y'all got about 90 days. 90 days. And we're going to unleash this on y'all ass because, uh, p- uh, pause, we're yeah. going to unleash it. All right. We got Sconey in Chicago. Sconey, Chicago, Chi-Town, 312, 8th and Wabash, or Southside. I'm sorry, it's Darren in Kentucky. Darren in Kentucky, Speedy's uh, uh, district. What you got going on, man? What What's up with it, baby? Yeah, uh, so, I think the situation as far as, you know what I'm saying, coming out in the NFL, 
it's not so much as a gay guy playing football. I think it's more of like a locker room thing. Because me, yeah. you know, used to playing football. I mean, when you're in the locker room, I mean, I'm just going to say that there. You horse around a lot in the locker room. With the naked, <laughs> you got clothes on and whatnot. Hmm. So I think, and when you actually incorporate, okay, well, that's around. actually gay, you kind of hold back a little bit and it kind of brings it up like a little a little tension in the locker room. So I don't think it's so, so much. As, as so you, would, you wouldn't like him... You wouldn't like him popping his towel on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the soap. You out. You, you, kind of, you kind of look at it a different way. It's like if you're born, you know you ain't gay. You know what I'm saying? You know, he slaps you on the ass or something. You get but you don't know if he got a crush on you, you or nothing. Just... But if a gay guy does it, it's like, wait a minute. What just happened here? Yeah. I mean, it's like, hey, man, who's stroking my penis like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's only halftime. Horse players changed the... I mean, you can't Horse... even... <laughs> you can't even be in the locker room and cuss. You know what I mean? Suck my dick, nigga. He probably really wants to. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. I, 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 oh, let, 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 let us hear it. On the field say, issues. Say you know, it again. Field, you playing football. Ain't nobody playing the church. Why would you do what you got to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think it's more of a locker room thing and, you know what I'm saying, and a personal thing versus actually what right. the guy does on right. the field. Right. You're right, you're mm-hmm. right. Well, 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 thank you so much for, for calling in. Call, thank man. you for the insight. Now, this is the question. Raise it. I, well, I guess I Raise don't have it. to worry about it because I'm not going to be in the locker room. But, I mean, I guess no the question soon. is, is that, you know, because I, I know when I see women naked, mm-hmm. I mean, shit. You get around? Even if they're your homegirl, you still got to just, just say, like, like yeah. damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I won't put nothing out there. You right, know, We I got just, uh, Clinton from Clinton, Alabama. You just move on. Clinton, are you there? <laughs> you just move on off this soft subject. Clinton on the phone, Fox. Y'all from got Alabama. All the way from Alabama. Alabama, Alabama 205, baby. Holla at me now. You already know, man. Listen, hey, what's going on, man? I got. I had to call in, Jamie. You was talking about racism in, in the South. Yeah. And you yeah. know you going up in the shop. Let you know who I am, yeah. man. I do stand up comedy down here in Birmingham. I live in oh, LA sure. as well. And oh, it was man, crazy. Great. Let me tell you about my story because I can really speak on it. When you talk about we need voices and uh, what, what, oh, you know, people getting out here and address the situation, man. Listen, I was right. incarcerated. I worked wow. on a campaign here in Alabama, which was a controversial campaign. And I worked yeah. on a campaign, man. And I was putting up signs. And as I was putting up signs, it was like eight o'clock at night, and I was putting the signs up, and this white guy come outside and shoot his gun in the air, and he starts shooting at me. I'm like, damn. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, I got shot. I'm like, shit. My whole my whole soul out of my body. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they called the police. The police called. They had me at the, I mean, they had me at the police station from 8 o'clock that night up until 7 o'clock that morning because they didn't know what to charge me on. And they charged me on breaking the entering of a vehicle. Uh, something I didn't even do. So when I get down there, they put me in jail on a fifty thousand dollars bond. And you know, be honest, man, my family we couldn't afford fifty thousand dollars to get me out. We didn't even know what to do. This is my first time getting incarcerated. So they gave me a fifty thousand dollars bond. And when they gave me the bond, let me tell you, it was so crazy. I never went through anything like this. I weighed almost two hundred and fifty pounds. When I got when I when I went to court, man, I stayed in there. I went. I got. I got in there in August. I didn't go to court until February. I was probably weighing wow. like 160 some pounds, man. It, it was wow. it was ridiculous, and they, the ridiculous. sentence that they gave me was a five year sentence, but you got split it. two yeah. to serve in the department. Good weight like weight loss program. First time ever Jim getting incarcerated, <laughs> man. Well, and, listen, and, and it was so crazy because we didn't know what to do. My family didn't know what to do. I was going. I was in. The, I was dealing. Court. I was dealing in a circle that it was like. If you, you know, it was like, I wouldn't... You know, but you thin was, now, though. You still thin? No, no, I, I, I didn't got back. It's, it's, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you need to go back like, to jail. <laughs> she was like, when I was like, jail, I went... I'm like Luther right now, man. I, I got a, you know, I'm big Luther now. I'm little Luther, big Luther. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. Big bucket of chicken. Was, it, 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 <laughs> hey, well, I, I, I'm gonna, but but this is what's gonna have to happen. Clinton. Thank this you, is Clinton, what's gonna have conference. to happen, Clinton, and, and so and, and everybody hear this. When you're from the South, man, there's a certain kinship. I wouldn't trade being from the South That's right. uh, for anything in the world with my black friends, my white friends, everybody. But 
we have to somehow bring camaraderie when it comes to racial issues. The other part of it is is that we're going to have to start educating young black men that yes. if they are being uh, 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 targeted, we got to ed- educate you on what you what you have to do in those situations. Profile. And, 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 you know, parents, uh, if you are profiled or whatever, and whether it be your parents or whether it be a, 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 a person at your church or something like that, we just, we just have to keep our ears up. We got to be, you know, we got to be... Uh, <laughs> Keep our ears up. Yeah, we got we, we, we to be attentive as, as how things are going down, you know. And uh, I'm sorry that happened to you, brother. Uh, uh, but, hey, man, you know what? That's that's how it is. So now we got to deal with those situations. It's Fox on Radio. Yes, it is. We going down with it. What's up with it? Speedy, holler at me. Hey, we got Malika. I think I got that right. In, Malika. In North Carolina. Malika. North North Kaka-Laka. 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 You there? <laughs> Yes, Malik. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Hey, baby. What's hey, happening baby. with it? More people here then. Baby. I'm, I'm doing well on my way home from work. And I um, oh, just man. wanted to say that I love your work. And you are Thank tremendous. You so I'm actually a filmmaker. And I just nice. want to know. Um, I'm doing film festivals. I'm doing, I do nice. short films. I do it in Charlotte. You know, we find nice. people who will allow us to use their their businesses and I'm just trying to find a better way. I, I, I'm a scriptwriter, a screenwriter. You me, want a let job? Me, let me let me it. let me ask you this: so How can we follow you? Or is there a Twitter or an Instagram or something you yeah. can put out there? Because there's so many ways now to get your movie done. There's Jump Starter. There's let. How can we go online and watch some of your work? Well, I am on Instagram. It's Mbird okay. NY at Instagram. M bird. I'm all, yeah. Spell M-bird. it. Spell it for us, love. M B Y R D N Y. That's my Instagram name. Gotcha. You can also find my most recent short film on YouTube. It's called Organized Chaos. Nice. It seems like I've heard that. Have I met you before? No, I wish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mean I ain't hear that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I ain't never Not in North Carolina. North Carolina. Charlotte, North well, Carolina to represent. Yes, but I'm. There you go, baby. Well, 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 we're happy that you 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 put that you put that out there for us. We're gonna go online and check out your stuff. Organized chaos. Listen, that that's how you do, man. You know, you reach out and that's you never know what good. may happen. We appreciate your call, and we are definitely gonna check out your stuff. And if it's popping, we're gonna reach out to you. For real, mm-hmm. no doubt. Organized, organized chaos slash short film. That's that's uh, we're, we're how pulling, you can We're do pulling it up right now. Organized chaos. We're pulling it up right now. Mm-hmm. All, All right, right. Babe. all right, baby girl. Yeah. All right, all right. right. Malika, no, that's Kaka-Laka. good. Man. You get a lot of love right now. It's Foxhole Radio. Well, we Speedy, you know what, man? We've been at this for so long, Speedy. Yeah, and yeah, I told him, I told him, whoever's got calls for Speedy, just hold off. Hey, Jay Fox, you know we got to do some talking. What's going on with it, baby? Holler at me. We just got a lot. Is stuff. it about a sports? It's, it yeah, seems like we got a little sports in the air yeah, right we, now. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Well, what's going on with this? Well, I, I got a lot on my mind. Man. Get it off your C H E S S. Well, what? you know, after Chess. Chess. Spell it again. <laughs> okay, my after uh, after LeBron scored sixty-one points against yes, uh, the Charlotte Bobcats, lost yes, three in a row. Junior college. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hilarious. It's it's been bad. They lost and three I, in a row. And um, I'm I don't know if he need if he's asking. I mean, what's going on with the mask? And you know what what's what's the problem? What are you asking? me? I'm asking you because so so if a, so if a Phantom Rolls Royce run out of gas, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a Phantom Rolls Royce. Right. Right. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to figure out. I like I'm just trying to right figure out what yeah, you're saying, like man. <laughs> if a Phantom Rolls Royce go out and run out of gas, I'm just trying to say <laughs> even if you stand next to that bitch. <laughs> You still fly, my nigga. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure it I, out, T. I, I, I hear so what? You what your oil light on? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I hear what your you... doors are jarred. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, right? but you know, you called me the other that's week hysterical. when the man went off, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. You, I did, you know, and then I dodged you. Yeah, you, 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 you harassed me. Yeah, and I dodged you for the next yeah. six days. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> it hurts. Don't it hurt when you? Don't it hurt when they let you down? Yeah. And ain't nothing you can do about it. But hey, listen, man. So did Indiana. Indiana had three three games. So did Oklahoma. Lakers won today. Lakers. Won. They, they Lakers won. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, anything. Clippers on fire, though. Clippers on fire. But I mean, like,
we, we had this conversation on the road yesterday and everybody was talking about the LeBron James, the LeBron James, LeBron James. Uh, to me, it's it's just at the end of the day, we're going to see how these guys are playing towards the end of the season. I feel like, Indiana, I feel like Indiana jumped out there a little too fast. Too fast, yeah. Uh, and, oh you know, things is you know, not really gelling. People are uh, catching up, to, catching, are catching up to him. Catching up to I think Kevin Durant is doing his thing. Kevin Durant is really coming into his well, own. Well, they lost today. So. Uh, then again, maybe he's not. Yeah. Uh, but when you talk about LeBron James, I'm just trying to hear, hear what you're saying. I'm just saying. I just he, need to I, hear what you're saying. Why, why did he shoot seven, seven th- for 30 today? I was just he wondering. shot seven for 30 today? Something like that. Today? Yeah, we lost. What was the score? Um, Who'd y'all play? How many you had? You said Chicago. we lost. Chicago. Yeah. Uh, um, Chicago put it on them. Uh, they never even got they, close. They, they played Chicago, you know. San Antonio and, and, beat them bad. You know, I just, you know, Wade, Some, sometimes they Wade got, didn't have no help today. Did Wade play today? Yeah, Wade, Wade played. Yeah, Wade played. He oh, he played today. Or 20 25. Oh, he played today. Yeah, he played today. He played today. He Chicago played today. always <laughs> plays. He played the day before that, too. But against, he played today, right? Yeah, he did. I'm just asking. No, he played. Because everybody out there in Radio Land, let, okay. me, let, me, make, let me make you understand. Me and Tyron have this thing. I love Dwayne Wade. I don't want anyone to think that I don't love right. Dwayne well, Wade. Well, speak on it then. When he plays. Okay. I love him when he plays. And I know that he has injuries and everything like that. But I think what it is is that this whole comparison of Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, I don't, I don't think it's necessary because, That's you not know, cool, it, yeah. it, it, it's, they're, they're teammates. Right. That's true. So, That's true. So, so, so we, and I'm we, glad LeBron came to get a ring with Wade, you know, since Wade wow. already. That's, that's fine. No, I'm, that, I'm, that, why, why what? I'm just saying. No, I, I, I completely can, can understand we, Can that. we all agree that Wade that's, had it first, yeah, gentlemen? Yeah, he, he sure did. Okay. He, I can and I take that from Dwayne Wade. So you saying LeBron they, is hampering your team? Is that what you? No, saying? not at all. He's not hampering. He's it's, it's not not at all. I'm just saying we just need him to be. Uh, we need him to show up. He's King James. <laughs> he's show got up. y'all two in a row. I just want him to show up, man. Look, 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 look he go in. You know what I mean? Really? Why you got your hand on your hip? I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say why you got your hand on your hip? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to listen to me. Uh, yeah. like, you know. It, it, Let me ask you this then, Tyron. Is up? LeBron James going to go down in history as the best player to ever play the game of basketball? Impossible. Okay. And say, why do you say that? <sighs> because it's just not, it, it, it's not mathematically. He's a Libra. <laughs> you know, he, he may get the leather uh, headband. We may Hilarious. get that. But, um, no, he, yeah. I, think, I think LeBron is great. But I just, I mean, come on, man! Like he got, it, it, it. he'll be one of the greatest. Yeah, he, he will be one of the greatest. But he, I don't you know, know he, the greatest because you got to get past Kareem. Kareem. Well, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar couldn't bring the ball down though. Right. And they don't even play the post position no more. Right. So I'm just asking you, the game, yeah. the game has changed. I yeah. think Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in so his era was it, the best. Is LeBron better than than uh, uh, Jordan? No, Im- impossible. Two different no. eras. It's Don't two, matter. If you put them together right now, it's two different eras. Let's try, though. Let's try you to can. compare eras. Okay. See, that's a problem we have with us. We don't ask, is Elton John better than Milk Jagger? Milk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, Mick Jagger, we don't ask them questions. Well, El John, they, they, they I do they, though. They, I, I ask if, if I, I would, I would go toe to toe with people that love the Beatles yeah. and, and love the Stones. Right. I love the Stones. I didn't love the Beatles. Right. I thought the Beatles was a boy band. Okay. Well, a great boy band. Mm-hmm. But I just felt like the Stones was, yeah. you know. But when you talk about that, I'm not gonna say my words because I don't want people to think mm-hmm. this is me. Mm-hmm. David West told me that LeBron James was the best player to ever play the game of basketball, with Jordan included. At the same time, Pat Riley and Dr. J having a conversation with them, the way they put it was is that if we played in this era, we'd have a hard time guarding someone. And he didn't name LeBron James first. Mm-hmm. He said, if a person has to guard Paul George, you not realize how big Paul George is and what he can do? Yeah, he said, you know, at the end of the day, basically what I got from the conversation that, yeah, all of those guys from that era would be effective, but they wouldn't be as effective as they was now. Right. You got to look at the people that are playing. You got to look at the Portland team that are playing. You got to look at uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant playing against Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. I understand now, 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 I, now here, now Mike would have had to pick no, him up. No, no, watch this. No, but Michael Jordan never guarded those guys. It was always Scottie Pippen. Right. But you're right. You're it was right. Scottie Pippen yeah, guarded yeah. that. And Michael, Jordan, and Michael Jordan dominated Joe Dumars. Let's just speak on it. Right. Let's just be honest, though. He played against Joe Dumars, who's by my size. Uh, who else? Uh, John Starks. Starks. No, I hear what Stockton. you. No. I, but, but here's what Born I'm saying, though. But, but, Dominique, it, but, 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 but you heard what Dominique Wilkins said, right? But, but hold on. Nobody heard what Dominique said? What did he say? He said that 
their era was a lot harder. He said that's not killed. that's not true though. That's, that's what Dominique because, said. But that's emotional because Dominique comes from that era. But Dominique never played against a Kevin Durant in his no, life. It was more physical in the yeah. 80s. But but you gotta understand this though. If it was more physical in the eighties, they're bigger and stronger today, so they would be physical too. No, no, have, no, 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 no. No, no, listen to what I'm saying. If you will have the same imagine you implement those rules right now. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's the same rules from the eighties. Dominique Wilkins will have to check someone as big as LeBron James, and LeBron James can check him like that too. No, I'm no, no listen to what I'm saying. Hand it's, checking and all that, they had all that back then. I, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. But if LeBron James was allowed to hand check, he'd be able to hand check him too. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, that's what you're saying. So what you're saying is. But they don't know nothing about hand checking. How do you know that? Because they don't play under those but rules. How do you know, but if they did, they would be playing under those rules. But they never done it. They've never done that's, it. No, but you're not, it's not making sense. If you're going to move the rule back and say, now we're going to hand check, then you would allow Shaquille O'Neal to hand check. Oh, that's a problem. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's a problem. So if you allow them to hand check, they're going to be able to hand, so they will be able to hand check as well. Gotcha, gotcha. All I'm saying is that the players at that time, what I was told, not me, this ain't my words, right. was that the players at the time were small. Dr. J was a freak of nature. Mm-hmm. Dr. J said, he said, hey, man, I was a freak of nature. We didn't even Six play basketball days. 24 hours. Right. We had real estate jobs. Mm-hmm. He said, these dudes that play now, he said, we've never seen that type of athleticism. So I'm not taking nothing from Michael, Michael Jordan, right. but you have to look at it like this. Take the errors and take, this do the numbers. Michael Jordan is 6'6", playing against Kobe Bryant is 6'6". Michael Jordan is 6'6", playing against Kevin Durant is 6'10". Right. Mm. I'm, I'm just saying. Now, I'm not saying that Michael Jordan wouldn't be any, be any less great, but it would definitely be a different fight because you name the, name the players that was on Michael Jordan's level when Michael Jordan was dominating. Uh, your boy from uh, the One Ring with Houston. Clyde, the, Clyde would have been. Man, Clyde, that was Clyde. in the 80s. This Clyde was, was nice. talking about the 90s. <clears throat> in the 90s. Uh, I'm just asking a question. Uh, I'm not uh, taking nothing from well, Michael Jordan. Well, Jordan played in both eras, though. He, he played, he played at the end of the 80s, but he played in the 90s. It was the 90s Bulls. Yeah. yeah. So it was really. I'm just asking. It was really Jordan and Olajuwon was the two, like, the most dominant. But look, at, but look at the play, look at the game now. You got a great Oklahoma. Look at Westbrook. Yeah. yeah. Was there a Westbrook back then? No. Nah. Magic. Nah, nah. Magic can't. Magic couldn't run like that though, like as fast as a Westbrook or something. But he, Westbrook he didn't attack. To the rack. He couldn't hold Magic. Ma- but Magic didn't, didn't attack like. But that. let me ask you this: Name a Westbrook back at that time. Name a Kevin Closest. Durant back at that time. Uh, name a Paul George back at that time. I was. I was name, Clyde, what's Dresser, guy, Clyde Dresser was like name a, a name a name a little. What's the guy from Portland? Oh, yeah, be. Wayne Leonard. Name Leonard. a Chris Paul from back at that time. Name a Isaiah Thomas. Th- yeah, that's true, right? Name a uh, name a what's the big light skinned kid? Red nose. Pitt. Oh, uh, Blake. Blake Griffin back at the time. Name these guys. Carmelo. Sean Kemp. Yeah. Sean is nice. Yeah, I give you that. I'd put Sean against him. I give you that. But look Sean. at the way the, look at the way NBA is right now. Everybody athletic. Look at Paul George. Paul George to me, he sort of like lets you know, like, hey man, it's different. Yeah, but back in the day, they just went in the backyard and lift weights. <laughs> <laughs> With water bags. It's Fox O Radio, y'all. <laughs> Call in 855. Again, not my words. Nice. Right. Not my words. These are 369 This is the number to call it to. We're going to take a break. We're coming right back. Come right back. Stay on the line if you're there. It's Fox Hole Radio. Fox Hole Radio, we are yeah, back. There's a, there's a hit out on me now. They said I, they said I said that Michael Jordan was 10. Yeah, you said that. I didn't say that. Well, you, you, can, you can always retract You said Michael Jordan could not play today. No. <laughs> That's Mike is on you, the phone. No, you can, you can retract that, though, Jay. You can, you know. Don't, don't, I don't ever want anybody to take the money. You Michael said Michael Jordan could not get a layup today. <laughs> I, 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 I besmirched. I oh, think somebody see. on the phone want to talk to you about this. We got Jerry out of Washington. Jerry? What's up, Jerry? Hey, what's Jerry, up, you there? What's good with you, Holla baby? Holler at me, man. I, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Go ahead, baby. Oh, don't even worry about that, man. Everybody got hey, their opinion, it. so You're people right, don't say what they're going to say. But I just called in to say... I love the show. Y'all keep me up when I'm down. You motivate me. You make me want to do better every day. But I did want to say something to Mr. Turner, if I can. What's up, bro? What's up? Hey, what's good with you, man? Hey, I'm a big fan. I've loved you ever since Menace. I went to the movies like 20 times back when it came out. So I I showed you much love. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that, man. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Um, I did want to know, did you have any new projects coming out that uh, I need to be looking out for? 
Right now we got some television stuff that's in development. I just did a a, a short film calling She Was My Eve. You can look at it online on Yahoo that uh, Mr. Sure. Ja- Jamie sure. Foxx directed me in. Shut up, Speedy. Uh, Jamie Foxx directed me in, uh, and it's and She Was My Eve. You can look at it on online, Yahoo. Okay. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the Thank call. Thank you, man. Jerry we appreciate Watson. it, man. He love you, man. It's all good. Dude, love all good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dudes love you. Speedy, ain't nobody gonna call in for you, though. Yeah. My big girl. Speedy, I just want to say you... <laughs> Yo, pizza is ready. Yo, pizza. <laughs> Speedy, you make the bombest pancakes in the world. <laughs> Ooh, they sleeping on your batter still. <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't what? get that, man. Are oh, you putting Parmesan in your batter? <laughs> to all of the listeners out there, we're gonna do a countdown to Spider-Man. Wow. Are you ready? We are doing a countdown to Spider-Man. We're going to give away a couple of tickets so people could come to uh, uh, some screenings. So countdown to Spider-Man, which is coming out May 2nd. You are know you what? ready, bro? I, you know what? I, I'm happy for uh, the Spider-Man um, uh, franchise. Right. Happy for Mark Webb. Happy for Andrew Garfield. There was a little bit of a mistake with Andrew Garfield. He was supposed to bring a kid out and he's supposed to, uh, he had leukemia. Mm. Mm. And uh, this, you know how people like to twist stories and make controversy. Correct. They didn't have uh, enough time to bring out the the, the 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 kid who had leukemia, and it didn't fit within a live show. Okay. And then people tried to dump on Andrew Garfield. All he did was just try to get the get the kid on there. It didn't work out. He eventually took the kid to Disneyland. Okay. Uh, which was great. But Spider Man, I don't know. This is what I don't. If somebody can help me, there's 27 million hits. Okay. On the a lot of commercial trailer trailer uh, is that a lot of hits incredible yes. that's a lot so shout out to Sony and all those guys I got a feeling uh, this is going to be really uh, Honey mil. big I'm I'm just happy to be a part of it uh, Dane DeHaan uh, who I think is uh, fantastic in the movie Dane as DeHaan. well I have a question yeah. for you go me. ahead Speedy. are you ready to see an action figure of you in Toys R Us well, I've had action figures before, Speedy. No, those are Jack in the Box heads. But I'm uh, saying, wow. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There, there, was, a, there was a Django doll. But the, uh, but the Django doll sold out. You couldn't get them. Uh, I got one. Right? You got one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, this is going to be where little kids are playing with Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Well, Whoa. With Jamie oh, my God. This is Speedy. You got saying. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I, listen, I'm I'm just humble and happy to be be a, a, a part of it. And I think Sony has done a fantastic job with what they're doing. We're going to start a countdown here on the Foxhole. We're going to go all the way. How many we're tickets? Gonna, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to give away at least a handful of tickets to to, to okay. towards uh, these uh, these uh, to our faithful screenings listeners. and everything. Our faithful listeners. So check that out because you, your kids will really enjoy this. Uh, but uh, I think it's 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 going to be great. We we actually have a our own little trailer that we're doing the Electro uh, mm. trailer. Electro is going to get a, 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 a Instagram. He's going to get a, 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 a Facebook and he's going to get a Twitter wow. here. I'm shocked uh, to hear that. Coming up in the, ne- in the next so far, few days. So can we do this? The person that comes up with the best Electro costume homemade Yes, for a ticket. There you go. For some tickets. I like that. And, and, yeah, so Write we'll it do down. That. And uh, so be looking out for uh, for that coming up this week when Electro Instagram goes online. Okay. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna talk he's gonna talk some trash about uh, Spider Man. I hear he's very upset. Mm. Wow. Itsy bitsy spider went off the water spout. <laughs> Down came Electro. Damn, I'm scared. And wiped the spider. Out. So <laughs> that was crazy how she just ran back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so uh, so be so be ready for that. He's gonna get his own Instagram and his own Twitter, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna see what you know what Electro has to say. Anyway, that and also to uh, coming up uh, December nineteenth. Okay. December nineteenth. It sound like what, this around what's the corner. Uh, Annie. Oh, oh yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. seen the trailer. Move. Hi. Oh, the trailer's yeah. out? I seen the trailer. Yeah. How you see it? I pay attention to my friend Speedy. Yeah, Speedy. While you out there shaking and faking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Annie, shout out to Quivenjane Quivinj- Wallace, who was in Beast of Southern Wild. She is she is taking on the character Annie Quivinj- and doing a fan, uh, and Will fantastic Smith involved job. In that. Will Smith is a, a, a producer. James Lasseter is a producer. Dope. Caleb Dope. Pinkett is a producer. Jay Z is a producer. Can we get wow. Hard Knock Life? Jay Z. Jay Z is now, a producer. Are they on set? Are you Dia. doing all this or not? Uh, JL was. And uh, Caleb Pinkett, who's uh, Jada Pinkett's uh, 
uh, brother was on set okay. and uh, when I ran into uh, Jay-Z just before we started the production I said we need, really need to hear this in the movie right here at the beginning or just in the movie uh, in the movie beginning whatever it doesn't matter uh, I watched this guy performance at the Super Bowl it was amazing mm-hmm. you know that was one of my things I, I heard this in the in the trailer but I was yeah. was there gonna be another one with Jay-Z uh, well this is in the trailer and uh, they may play something at the end for right. Jay-Z but right. I mean I think it's a testament to his to his star power and what he did people don't understand is that the Annie trailer sat around for years mm-hmm. I mean the Annie movie sat, uh, sat around for years and they wouldn't release the rights to anyone oh, okay. and until Jay-Z came along and they would re- release the rights to him so that's a testament wow. to, right. to what shout he can do yeah. so shout out to Cameron Diaz that's my girl shout out to Quvenjanae shout out to Will Gluck uh, all those guys uh, doesn't that say how far fantastic. you've come along to be, that just, you're involved with I'm just hired help I'm just hired help, Speedy. I just get in where I fit in right. and, and try to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, Annie, December 19th, and that'll, that'll come out later on, but uh, just want people to you know, have that on their radar. And there it is. It's Foxhole Radio. It's a beautiful day out here. At some point, we're going to have to get outside. Yeah, now, are we talking about this here? So, Extra Boom, you want to hop on here and tell us what this boom is? Boom Phones. That's what it's called. Boom Phones. Oh, yeah, use this one right here, my brother. What's your name? My Ooh, name you gotta turn your mic. Yeah. My name's Ohad. How you doing? Oh, Ohad. Yeah. Ohad. I bet you've never heard this name before. Where are you from? Originally Israel. from Jerusalem. Yeah, but I grew oh, up in Canada. Oh, okay. Shalom. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I know you don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your Speak. headphones, man. Now this is so, the boom. Let me. Get, now this is the boom phones. The first headphones that can transform into a boom box. Basically, we're looking at the transformer. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Now, but, speak on this. So pretty much we're the first headphones that have equipped speakers on the outside of the headphone. So you can mm-hmm. use them as internal, uh, you know, you can use them privately or you can, with a push of a button, share the music with everyone around you. Right. Mm. Um, so they have uh, two internal drivers and uh, two external speakers that are meant to play music right. externally. Um, and then uh, right here you have uh, the pocket speaker. Yes, right here. Uh-huh. So you what makes the pocket speaker <laughs> unique is that it's uh, it's the size of an iPhone, yes. double the thickness. Yeah. It plays That's the same she said. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it has two subwoofers, uh, four drivers, uh, plays 360 sound. You can nice. sync two of them wirelessly. It has a, wow. a true wireless Bluetooth chip in there, so you nice. can, you can uh, experience it in stereo mode. Um, and yeah, we uh, we pretty much offer the most sound per square inch. That's what we're all about. So uh, if you look at these, they're extra thin, extra small, but they really project, uh, you know, uh, loud sound that's very clear. And same the, thing with our headphones. You I heard know, the we, headphones and I heard the outside. Sound great. Yeah. Thank now, you very much. Now, now, boom phone. Now you you now here's here's what I'm gonna say. I have something I want to pitch you mm-hmm. because I have something that I think we can get together and do some business. Uh, and real, I have a really, really, really cool idea that I think you really uh, uh, enjoy. These phones look great. They look, they, they, uh, they look sturdy. They don't look like you guys uh, skimped on on making right. them. Uh, now, how how are sales? Sales are really good. I mean, we just launched about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, what we wanted to do instead of just dumping it in all the major retailers, mm-hmm. we wanted to make sure that. Uh, we tested the market and made sure that we knew exactly what it is we were doing before we just threw it out there. Um, we sold well over 20,000 units, um, just, uh, mainly online. Um, but you know, this skew right now is, uh, is going to be discontinued in about six months. Yes. We have a brand new headphone that we've been working on for the past two and a half years. Well, don't tell him because I want to be involved in this. Hold on. It's like an episode of Shark Tank right (laughs) now. Hilarious. Because I, because I have an idea for you. I think you, but, but we had to, I mean, I got something that I think that will really I like as it. far as the idea I'm gonna tell you, it'll be great visually as a commercial and mm-hmm. also it'd be great uh for what, what we can uh, what you can do is if you cut me in on uh, <laughs> no, but uh, but I, it's a great phone. So I'm gonna discontinue this, you got a brand new one coming out. And just with now this one right here, the little iPhone thing. Now see like when you're making love, you know, I could just sort of tape this to my shoulder. Mm. And boom, hit the music that I don't want right there. there you you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, strap this to her inner thigh. <laughs> I need some music while I'm working down here. Oh, I 
Gucci. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the Boom Phones Pocket Speaker. You guys are going, uh, is, uh, would you consider it going head to head with Dre mm. or Beats? Or this is just. This is completely, uh, we're, we're doing something completely different than Beats. Um, we're actually uh, we're in talks with Beats because, you know, I'm friends with some people over yeah. there. And sure. uh, we're doing the complete separate thing than what, we're, what they're doing. So we're not really necessarily trying to compete with them. Right. We're putting right. speakers on a headphone, yeah. um, which they're not even uh, trying to do. And then we're trying to go thinner. They're going bigger. Right. Um, right. So um, that's. Thinner is better. Yeah. Well, it's, it's yeah, it's not the size, it's the performance. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, she said. <laughs> <laughs> she said. Well, not, not not in my case. You do work for a dipstick, I tell you what. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> when you're in court low, I'm saying for a cocktail when you use a bad motherfucker. <laughs> uh, well, that's, man, this is fantastic. And how can people, how can people uh, get boom phones? Uh, boom if you want one. Boomphones.com. Boomphones.com. Um, nice. And then, uh, we're on other uh, retailers such as uh, urbanoutfitters.com. Love it. Um, but Love it. Yeah, that's those what you do. If you're a Foxhole listener, just hit them and say you heard it on the Foxhole. They hook you up. There it is. Yeah. We love it. Boom, phone. Listen, we're going to wrap this thing up. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to get back and get my feet wet. We got a lot of great things coming up. Yes. Uh, we're going to do a, from now on, mm -mm. from this day on. Uh-oh. Let me write it down. Tyron Turner and Jamie Foxx are going head-to-head head uh -oh. with this sports thing. Mm. All right? That's We're going to start watching it. I think LeBron is going to come through and win the MVP. I, think, I think Wade going to get the MVP. He Who? thinks Wade is going to get the MVP. Kitty, 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 you're disrespectful Kitty, right now. Kitty, Stay out of here. So, so we're gonna we're gonna League see League MVP. So we're gonna see who's gonna who's gonna win. I predict that the Miami Heat Three will rings. come out of the Three east. Peaks? I think oh, so. Three I peaks. think they'll come out of the east. Okay. I think it'll be another battle with San Antonio. And uh I do have money on the Clippers though. You don't, like, honest, you don't like Houston at all, Fox? I like Houston. The only thing that worries me about Houston is free throw shooting. Okay, got it. And uh, oh, when okay. it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you need that. Uh, big man's got to hit the free throws, right. and he's not going to be able to help him in the fourth quarter. Got you. So, uh, 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 but I did lay down a nice, generous bet on the Clippers to win the whole thing. Mm, and the only reason that I did that. that is because it's just a smart bet. Right. Uh, uh, but we're going to get into that. The other thing we're doing, Spider-Man countdown, mm -hmm. May second. We're doing this on a, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you all the information that you need for that for Spider-Man, and then Annie in the in, in in the wings. But I'm having a great time, and then also listen out. Uh, we're going to Miami. We'll be in Miami this weekend. We're doing Miami Gardens Jazz Fest. Mm -hmm. When you say uh, we. Meaning, like, we, we, like, yes. <laughs> we, we. That's French. That's French. This nigga said, we, we. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to Miami. We, for all of my listeners out there, we will, we will be in Miami this weekend on the 15th. Uh, myself, Tank, will be on my show. Uh, and if you ever seen uh, a show where we went down yeah, we, we. and we just have those type of shows where everybody falls through, I know Trey Songs will be there. I know all these different people will be there. So it's going to be great. So I will see you in Miami. Listen, when I die, heaven better be off the chain because I'm having a ball right now. Foxhole Radio in the Foxhole. house we got. Yo, boy, speed up. In the house we got. Tyron Turner. In the house we got. TDP. In the house we got. Oh, hi. And where are you Boom from? Boom phones. Boom phones in the building. <laughs> it's going down. In my, I see you, baby. Always trying to make it happen. It's going down. Foxhole Radio, when I die, heaven better be off the chain. I'm having a ball. We'll see Peace. you next week. DJ always.